Robin Hood here. <laughs> you know who you remind me of? I was going to do a whole thing then and then I just made myself laugh. Do you know who you remind me of? Do you know uh, in um, Pinocchio where he gets sent to the bad guys with the guy with the big cigar? That's they, just... they, they, they waddle around? I thought you were going to say something called like old timey detective. No, not at all. You, it, it looks. Once again, guys, not here to judge anyone wants to buy the hat. <laughs> so, this is a hall, and this is part of the hall. Should we talk about this first? No. Let, 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 let's cut to the hall. We'll, we'll just take it off and we'll go from there. What, you want me to take it off? You don't have to take it off. Do you want to take it off? I think it looks so nice. Well, we're going to show the fans. Should we talk about the hat first? Let's talk about the hat first. So, get close up so you can see that, that on this on this side. On, no, on this side. The person I'm pointing at. We can't see it. Oh, you want to see that logo? The logo. Don't. Oh, my gosh. No, no. Anyway, this is a hat we found. We paid three pounds for it. It is, it is a Zoltag and Voltaire hat. I say zigzag all the time. You're so no Bethany. And now it's to the point she almost says zigzag. So pray for me. I'm a hat connoisseur. Hats are my thang. This? Me and hats. Is this your thang? Tight. This... Mm. So I'm going to run you through this hat and I someone asked me the other day about steaming brims and getting shape back into hats. You, are a, you are a brim steamer, aren't you? I'm a brim steamer. Um, I just like to talk about the construction of this hat and why I'm so picky about hats and why I'm going to talk to you about it today. So this actually isn't a bad hat in terms of this. So I see a lot of people, I, I'm actually going to talk about this, but it's going how it's happening because I've got a hat on. I see a lot of people doing this thing with the top of hats, which I'll show you when I take it off, and they poke out this. Yeah. They poke out the dent. So it's like a dome. This is the this is steamed in this manner, and the idea is that you can place one finger in the little ridge, and then the your two hands go either side to take it off. A lot of people p p push the thing up because they think it's creased. It's not. It, it's supposed to be like that. The second thing I have to say is this bow is very good. This is a very high quality bow. Yeah. Just the shape mm -hmm. of it, the creasing, the folding of it. The placement also. However, this brim, this brim is so bad. Uh, oh, atrocious. I, I only Wave. buy Wave. hats with straight brims and I'm really picky about it. What's this? And a, a light finger. This is what happens to cheap hats. Oh, it's this bad is because the felt is... Hat. No, it's not. The felt is really nice quality. The problem is the brim is a terrible... Like, there's no construction. There's no... There's so I'm no, saying that it's, yeah. not con it's not constructed in Pro a high-end manner. I agree. Um, and I like them when they're lined as well at the end, but we don't go with that. Um, but you yeah, can so steam red. that. You can steam it. If you hold it against a sort of hard surface, so it's like flat... And then steam and it, the it will like mould it back into shape. Yeah, it will. Um, but this is meant to be flat. It's meant to be like that. Yep. And then the back is rolled up. It's supposed to be up, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just making sure people know. Anyway, so this is a navy Sorry, blue. Sorry, I thought you were asking. and Voltaire. They're actually quite well known for their hats. Who knew? I didn't know that. Yes. Um, I, I don't personally wear them because they're short brim. Do you know that? I find that I find that mad Um, because they're quite like a rock and... Oh, that's really annoying to me. Uh, a rock and roll kind of vibe. Very like... You know what I mean? Like... um kind of studs and this and that and the other yeah which like is weird hat. unless unless they are kind of like supposed to be like you know i think they're meant to be like you know smoking a cigarette of course yeah you are. You oh, who's after. that guy in the hat like he's just so cool because he's got a hat on you come here often yeah which, which i suppose if you get it from that brand makes it totally on the rocks anyway. and i play guitar at the weekends another one for me jeff okay you know? yeah, and then you roll you. it down the bath really dramatically <sighs> i'll tell you when i've had enough Anyway, so I would expect three fingers back for this. I would expect just about a hundred, just due right. to the short, short brim. If it was yeah. a longer brim, I'd probably try I would also, I would also take time. We are going to steam. To, this I was going to say, I would take time to steam that because at the moment it looks like a. Um... It's giving a vampire. <laughs> Anywho. Anyway, I'm going to take it off and I'm going to show you the insides of the hats. Okay. Okay. Oh my wizard. You look like Dobby from Harry Potter. Anywho, it does sound like Dobby. Anyway, so this one's got a lovely embroidery on the side. It's got the Z and the Z. The, the Z and the V. The Z and the Z. Uh, <laughs> and the V. And it's branded on the inside. You can also see from the inside, the actual structure of the hat yeah. isn't fantastic. It's not the best quality hat I've ever laid my hands on. When I was talking about the... the there's probably I'm a professional... I'm actually yawning. I'm not bored of you. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm very, very tired. There's probably there was a, thing, a professional night. name for the dip. I call it the finger dip. So I... I know it's really like... It's a hat. hat I go like this and take my hat off. But I have seen recently... 
people going it. like that. If anyone knows, if anyone knows Miss Lemon from Poirot, that looks like a hat she would wear. Like, it's not supposed to look like pushing that. Pushing out this? No, we got to push this in. It really offends me. Anyway, so yeah, that we pay three pounds, and it should. We pay for you messed it up by putting it on your head. There we go. We oh, pay, this is this is my. We fault. pay three pounds, and I will ask a hundred. There's no actual damage to it. No moth holes. Nothing like that, or any Shame. of that nature. Um, it the is called the Chateau it. Charlie in blue, and it is a hundred percent wool. I don't know if you can call it the Chateau Charlie. Chateau Charlie. Chalet. Chalet. Okay, moving anyway, on. Anyway, that was the first buy. Second buy. Let's do some accessorising. Look this is a bag. Look at this. This is some Ralph Lauren. It is a Polo Ralph Lauren small mini, if you will, tote bag. It's newer, but it isn't a fragrance bag. It is a full line bag from Polo. It's corduroy. It is purple. It's is, purple. Is it? Yes, yeah, purple. Yes, yeah, it's, it's lavender. Uh, yeah, it could be. Um, like. You mean it could I heard, be? No, but it's more of like a, as the Americans like to say, a lilac. This is another thing as well. Americans don't say that. When I you're photographing, we've just filmed another video, so I'm in a talking mood now. When you're photographing handbags, like a really just easy tip is if you've got spare carrier bags or any, even if you've got a, a piece of clothing, wait just one minute. Austin, entertain these people. Okay, uh, who do you want to sing? Do you want to do dance? No, talk about the polo bag that I'm packing. <sighs> it was my much, chance. I just want to sing. How much did we pay? Nothing. It was free. We pay. I want to say two ninety nine. Is that totally incorrect? Two ninety nine. We paid. Oh no, that was a question. Did we pay two ninety nine, Bethany? Yes, two ninety nine. We paid. I have. I'm going to pop up now because people love it when I do that. Watch this. <laughs> If you just put, I just literally rolled up literally. a piece that is going to be in the hall in about five minutes. What is it? I was, I was, I was, I was reading something the other day which said as someone who says literally a lot yeah. has a really, a really small vocab. So oh, well, bang bang. That says a lot, doesn't it? Anyway, I just put, I literally just rolled up a jumper. So if you're photographing and you're doing clothes at the same time, and then Let's you place that, that on your table or yep. whatever you do. Your three D spin. Yeah. Look, and you can do all sides of it, and you you can show what it looks like, what it's meant to look like, and when it's not like a pancake. Because no one carries it as a pancake. Also, like you said, if you don't have, it's more appealing. You can you can you can use a piece of clothing if you need to. Obviously, the inside's clean. If it's not, um, even a black bag, a black bag's really good because it's bigger than a plastic bag for kind of larger bags. Yeah. Um, once again, they can still be used. It's not something you have to throw away. I, I sometimes people buy stuff in. I just think it's stupid. Yes, okay. Anyway, how much would you expect for this? 45 to 50? Um, I, do you know what? I, I, I would do, uh, yeah, I would I would do like, mm, it would be between 40 and 50. Yes, you're I right. I think on Depop, this is a very good Depop candidate. Once again, it's got a, it's got uh, the, the Polo Pony, if you will. Um, it's corduroy. It's very now, it's very, it's smaller. So it kind of like the vibe of smaller bags is in right now, mini bags, etc., etc. It actually looks bigger on camera than it actually is. I don't know how to give you reference to what, like. This is my hair. This is a normal pack of cigarettes. <laughs> I'm joking. It's no, no, you know that. This is a mobile. What, let me in the loud. A mobile. Have you just bought a Motorola from like. <laughs> this is a cell phone. BT cell net. <laughs> anyway, fine, Austin. Right, so, okay, anyway, that's that small. one. And then, what's this? This one. Garment. Oh, that was good. Yeah. I see what you did there. Yeah. I was getting rid of a piece of clothing, but Bethany stumped me. Ha I just rolled up the item I'm showing. Convenient. This is by a brand called Denim. Denim is a jeans company. So they did there? It's not spelled denim either. They're very clever. So if you pick up, I would recommend picking up jeans from the company because they're known for jeans. D E N H A M. However, this is denim? the logo that no. you might want to look out for. It's a little pair of scissors, and this is called. Worship tradition, we combine a deep respect for workwear history, destroy convention together with a fearless intention to move things forward. The truth is in the details. Do you know what I love about that? that there's a specific line that you just read, which I, I was impressed with, which said, um, you just said now, destroy convention, a grey cotton top. <laughs> Madness, these guys. It's ripped, <laughs> um, it's a size medium. Uh, the denim and the chore wear and the jackets go for a lot of money. These basics, they do away. I put this up for £35. We sold a denim, excuse me. No, we haven't sold it. We ha well, I haven't listed it, Austin. Why do you have to reveal all my secrets live on air? You haven't listed it. 
you know the worst bit is about that really? is it's not that it's not listed fine so be it everyone has stuff like that we photographed it oopsie doopsie how much do we pay for this several thousand pounds um i don't remember i've taken the tags off we photographed them i don't remember so it would have been under five pounds right it wouldn't have been over that's for sure you that's for damn sure i didn't sure. ask you because you picked it up Just, huh? i asked you because you picked it up no i picked it up physically and then gave it to you Right. For you to do the reconnaissance work on it, which clearly you didn't. This is a brand called Elemente Salamente. <laughs> God, you are good. That's the logo. The man. And that's the brand. Ele Elemente Cimente. You say it. It's this literally what you just said. It is. I know it is. I'm really laughing though. Give me a this break, This is a size sis. small. It is striped. Uh, it is a big statement roll neck. I used to call them turtlenecks or polo necks, but I apparently didn't... it's roll neck now. Are we not? Are we not? We're old. Yeah. Uh, roll you, neck. You got ten years on me, Sunny. Why are you going to bring that now? Like, there's just no need. Because I want everyone to know how much older you are than I am. <sighs> this is a long sleeve roll neck uh, um, top. It is. This brand is made by Oshka. Is it indeed? Mm. Mm. So I list it as Largan look, but it's a nice, like, under basic layer. I like to think my Largan look ladies would layer it with a pair of dungarees or a pinafore dress. You can take it. You act like you really want to take it from. You have it. It's yours. Okay, thank you. No problem. Yeah, I agree with you. In actual fact, I think that would be tucked, if you will, mm. for some dungas and, a, like, a, 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 a chore jack over the top. It's very oversized. For a size small as well, I, yeah. size small is not my middle name, and that looks quite generous. But that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyway, so we listed that for 55 and we paid eight. This is the worst. Eight or nine. This is the worst haul ever. No, it's probably the best haul ever. This, I paid a pound for. See? This is... Uh, on, I found that and then... You, I can't even... This is a Velva Quinn t-shirt. Kids again. I don't know why we keep finding kids Velva Quinn, but you, we do. You know this from the shorts? They removed the uh, label. We said in the video, sometimes with the kids stuff, their label scratches their necks and they cry. So, babies. This is the turtle logo. Nice pink colour. Unisex. Boys can wear pink too. Uh, Actually, you know what? And it opens a wider market. Indeed. Uh, I have nothing else to say. One pound twenty-five. One pound twenty. One, one pound, pound into twenty-five. Twenty-five. On top of that, retail would have been about fifty, sixty quid. Next, Austin also found this. Do you think he can tell us the price? I don't think he can. This is an Arquette skirt. Arquette <laughs> is owned by H and M, as is and other stories. As is Cos. Do you know how you know that? Because if you go on H and M online, Arquette and other stories, Cos doesn't obviously. They come up. H&M. Yeah, I know. Madness. It's really annoying because our like it. really expensive to, <laughs> for, compared to H&M. So you find a really nice dress and you're like, wow, and then it's like 150 quid and you're like... Well, a thousand pounds. Anyway, so this is just a simple... I listed this it's as... It's simple. This is lush. I listed this as cinnamon brown. Oh, I like what you did there. Mm, thank you. Um, it's a pleated circle skirt, full circle skirt, fitted waist, A-line shape, to the knee. It's not lined. But it's nice. It's that like structured material. Um, how much did we pay? It's an extra small, like a shell which isn't almost. great, but I think it's generous. What? How, how much did we pay? Um, you picked it up. That's why I'm asking. And I'm not telling. I'm not telling because I know. I know what this cost. Okay, but I don't want to tell you or anyone watching. You can do a secret. I don't know what it was. <laughs> it was five pounds, <laughs> and I've listed it for forty-five. Bear, bear in mind, we are cheap when it comes to charity shop buying. Get away from me right now. Uh, it is ch we are cheap. We don't pay a lot for these items. So if we cannot remember, I promise you it wasn't a lot because no, no, it wouldn't no, no. be sat here. If you cannot remember. Next. Come on. Next up is a pair of... Oh my goodness, I just realised what you were doing. <laughs> Next up gotcha. is a pair of Oshka pants. Or trousers. I think calls them pants for their trousers. The pants. These are 100 percent linen. Don't touch my pants, lady. They've got those big like workwear, chore wear pockets. Or pockets, normal people. They're a size two, which is a size medium, roughly, which is about twelve. They're 100 percent linen, just said that. They do have a phase from being worn, but I don't think that really affects the price too greatly. I, I actually think with linen and I specifically coloured linen from a company like this, I think because they're never gonna make like tangerine kind of 
uh, fan, like uh, like a European Fanta kind of color pants. Mm. These you, you like the fade is irrelevant. Do you know what I mean? It just looks it just looks very largany. They're not balloon pants, but they've got a wide like leg, oh, very are, relaxed, yeah. very largen look. Wide that's, leg. That's a wide leg. They're lovely. What do we pay? Six pound fifty, and I listed them for sixty five pounds just to account for the slight fade there. Next up on Austin remembering things, this is my favorite thing Austin's ever picked up. I love it so much. I, 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 let me just let me just get myself ready. Why it's not? it's great though, isn't it? Like, if you wore that, it just with jeans, it's so good. So I, I, I'm gonna go somewhere smart. Do you know what makes me laugh even more? That your waist is up here. My waist. Yeah, because that's the, like where your waist would be because you've got this. This. You can't just let me have a decent visual for a change. Sorry. Anyway, so this is a 1990 single stitch tux or suit. Uh, graphic t-shirt tuxedo if you will which like you've seen in every 90s movie early 2000s movie ever yeah like, i swear it's in like the wedding singer or something like that no they, they, like they, there was loads of this style of t-shirt in, in in the states it was really 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 popular made so in the here. us of a this one uh, the first time i ever saw these actually were years and years and years ago obviously with me because that's all i did when i was a youngster watching wrestling in the uh, you know, like in the crowd you'd see loads of these randomly and i thought i always thought it was like a not, not obviously a band but i was sort of from someone Billion but i thought it's not huh million dollar man no but it actually looks like that I, I, get, I get what you're saying there but i'm saying i always thought it was from something but uh, it's not it's just a generic kind of oh look it's a hillary this is t-shirt uh, single stitch uh we paid two pounds and what did you tell me just said 450 yeah Yes, I did. Um, yeah, the, to be honest, you can you, you can find these on eBay, vintage, uh, vintage, not necessarily single stitch, but vintage for around about twenty, thirty, maybe even forty. This is single stitch, it's a nice fade, but the print in like immaculate condition. Yeah. Um, so once again, it's a good guys, size as well. It's, it's XL. Um, also, XLs back in the day were a lot bigger. So, generoso. Yeah. Next up is a pair of toast trousers. They're they not, are, are they? oost. Oost. Do you know what oost, oost. stands for? It is uh, something to do with the uh, workwear or something like that. Ordinary attire studio, I believe. It, it basically is their workwear vibes. Yes, mainly denim, a bit of cotton. So, if anyone who doesn't know hasn't seen it before, there's the tea and toast. There's a tea, the tea and toast, and in between tea and toast, you get it. Mm. Uh, in between the letters, <laughs> in the letters which are missing. Oost. That's because they've worn out. Oost. Anyway, Oost. these are a smaller size. I've got to measure them because the tags completely where they've been washed. It's now blue. But they're denim yeah. cropped. They're just, they'll whiz out. As soon as I list them, they'll whiz out. Paid £9, which is quite pricey. However, we've, we've um, sold this exact pair before in a slightly larger go, size. They'll go for 60 really quick. So quick. Um, that c Can I just ask for all, well, for myself, but also all, all, the, all, the, all the people, all the three people watching right now. Um, these uh did this continue this kind of stuff from toast is, yes. is it still available you can still buy it now and when did they start it you know roughly this like what is this 20 questions yeah because no. i feel like you were talking no i don't know i don't know the answer to that if anyone wants to answer me that in the quite in the comment section then uh, don't do. cheat don't google it. i gotta google it i hate when i don't know do when it started i don't know when it ended so, I don't someone, know it's, someone, someone wrote an answer to something i asked in the thing and i asked them something else on it yeah. and they had no like instantly because they were replying back and yeah. they answered they like went dead so i feel like you're a fraud you didn't know you googled it Hashtag don't google. lie i like people who have information i don't like people using google it. it's boring these are a pair of trousers. I was really happy to find these. These are E Iwa 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 I. I can't. I can't with a straight face. Iwa Iwella. I feel like E W A I W A L L A. You know when someone gets off a plane in a foreign country for the first time, oh. and I'm not. <laughs> hang on, and they're like, "We're going to teach you how to say hello." So what? So what's the name of the brand? Iwa Iwella. <laughs> Iwa. Do you want to say it? Ey, how much we paid for these? Oh, how much we paid for these exactly? Fifteen. Yeah. These are really nice. They're a drop crotch, uh, chore workwear trouser. This is once again is a very log and look brand. And this is a vibe too. I, I, I I've never was... found it, so I was really happy. On the back, they have this little like tiny pocket. So put my pencils in. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so they're a size the small. We paid fifteen, but I've listed them for a hundred and. 10. I was looking as well on here, like they're really cool. They're really, really cool. The buttons. Oh, I love a butterfly. Look at this. I it looks like they're broken. Oh, I love a buttonfly. Don't, don't do that. It's strange. Uh, the stars. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> we really need to go to sleep, guys. That's all I'm saying. Next up, let's go. Let's keep it going. Energy up. Let's get pumped. We could do a motivation like a workout DVD. Come on, let's do it. Well, hang on, hang on. Just, just, just think what we just said. Just stand there. Come on. 
on, guys. <laughs> Arms in the air. <sighs> right. If anyone's coming to the summit on Saturday, good luck. Good luck. Grumpy lives from Lois. Anyway, these are Oshka. Oh, these are amazing. I forgot Look how many Look at the they width are. of this so they've leg. they've got a floral... That's a leg. Floral print, olive green, extra wide, culotte, cropped, trouser, half elasticated waist, 100% linen, size 2. Don't think they've been washed because you can tell by the inside tag. And they were £6.50. You know what? You know you said earlier I say pant a lot, like as well yeah. as pants. Pantaloons. As well as trousers. These would, I would class as pantaloons. Pantaloons. They're balloon pants. Mm -hmm. Pay £6.50 and I've listed these bad boys for 85 bucks. 85. Yeah, and I'm not moving either. I'm not shifting either on that price, sir. <laughs> I didn't ask you, ma'am. Next up is this sweater shop jumper. This is old sweater shop. Old, 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 old. This is vintage, if you Made will. Made in the United Kingdom. It has the beautiful embroidery across the front. It's in this beautiful coral peach pink colour, which I think used to be red. No, they came like this. Okay, they came like this. Austin is expert on this. This was... No expert, but did it come in this kind of colour? I just like doing this. Would you do it like that? Not so much. No. Yeah, see? Um, cotton blend, it is oversized. I would say it's a size large, but like really big. Like, what, what size actually no, is it? No, there isn't a size of Okay, so that, like, that's XL all day. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, cool. Do you love it? Oh, how much would we pay? Nothing at all. It was free. They threw it in and they said, you guys look nice. Just take it off me. It was £6. It was indeed. And how much were you going to sit for? 45 uh, I'm going to do 45 on that. Only because um, you see a lot of sweater shop. It is... It's the colour and it's the era it was. It was kind of later when it became it was more, more popular. I remember these ha people having these in school and that dates me. 1960s? <laughs> oh, that's so rude. I, I was in school in the 90s, guys. Don't get it twisted. Bethany is just angry at the world. I can't help I that. I was born in the 90s. Next up is a two-piece. No, it's not two-piece. It's not two-piece. I've got two pieces for some reason. So this is first up, this is a pair of, um, I would call this a tile mosaic pattern. It has a mesh trim. Uh, Sweaty Betty, these smell, these smell really, really good. good. Yeah. Wow. There's a size, that's some like Waitrose like method washing up detergent, isn't it? Side note, just a quick one. We wear a lot of black. Uh, and anyone out there, Waitrose do the best black uh, like clothes, uh, what do you call it? Like detergent, clothes detergent. Um, they have a black one. Like It, it looks kind of grey. Just saying, side note, if you have any problem with your blacks, Waitrose will hook you up. Moving on. These are an extra small. Um, and they're especially messy and they were £2.50. That is an easy £35 every day of the week, all day of the week. I like the pattern ones. I think they sell really well because people are going to be jazzy when they're working out. This same shop had this for £2.50 also. £2. This was £2. Oh, see, you can't even give me that. You couldn't You couldn't give me a 50 <laughs> pence discrepancy. Or, or you couldn't get it Just right. Just like they don't care. You couldn't get one thing right. Don't, you, 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 show, you show me. Come on, show me the way. And I'll pick holes in what you're saying. This is £2. This is to put your headphones in. Did you know that? I didn't. So your headphone doesn't fling around. I could do with that. I made that up. I think it's true. Did I actually that? made that up. See, the, the worst bit was you straight faced me like it was the truth. And now I, I question everything you say going forward. This is forward really good. In well, I feel like we're just life. having a chat. Like, it's nice. Anyway, it's got a racer back back, which is all like loopy doopy and like droopy hoopy. Yeah, this this they actually have the um. Uh, it's a uh, what is it? It's drawstring pull string. Oh, lovely! So you could just have like this like little free moment, and then you could have like a. They are technically they, although they're, they're attached. They're not. They're like you can kind of separate them. Yeah, that's interesting. You know? I totally there's one hundred percent you can pull that over there. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. Anyway, this was £2 and it will be another easy £25 to £30. Okay. Next up. Is this the last thing? Uh, no, there's that. What? Oh, yeah. That. The reason people came to the dance, lady. The reason people came. I don't think anyone came. These the main are event of the evening. Vanessa Bruno. When I was in Harvey Nichols the other day. Whoa, we don't talk about Bruno. Oh. I was in You're Harvey welcome. Nichols the other day looking for some gear, a get up. For the reseller summit. Yeah, sounds like you're looking for some kind of uh, illicit substance. I was looking for some clothing. Thank goodness for that. And I saw this brand and I thought, oh, that's a nice brand. Not for me. It was too tailored, if I'm being perfectly honest. However, I noticed it. And then the next day, the very next day, we found it in a charity shop. So that just goes to show that maybe if you wander around Harvey Nichols, you can do some brand research, pick up some new brands and then go and find them in the thrift. 
These are for Vanessa Bruno. We paid ten pounds. They're newer tags. They got some zippy zippy zips for all your zippy zippy zip needs. Um, they're very nice. I've listed them for one hundred and fifty because they're newer tags. Retails about two two five. Um, if they weren't newer tags, I would go more for the one hundred to one two five um, listing range. However, because they're newer tags, that is just once again Vanessa Bruno. Vanessa Bruno, as in Frank. Frank Bruno. And last but That's not least is, oh God, it feels hooked around my foot. Yeah, it feels hooked around my foot. I nearly had it, but I nearly passed <laughs> out. I went through the wall into the, into, I was going to say next door, but there's nothing next door, so I just fell on the floor. Yeah. Anyway, this is a um, handbag. Oh, get it, Sean. This is a handbag. We paid four ninety nine for it. Oof. Quite we've, the cost. We have talked about this a little bit over on our Instagram. Can you remember the name of our Instagram, at least? Uh, uh, Daisy six four no, I'm just luxury at the luxury pickers guys. And if you don't already follow, why the heck not? That's what I'd like to ask you. This is an off man or lady. Sorry. This is an off white bag. This is an off white binder bag. Binder Ooh, refers pink, to the the oh, dog sure. refers to the dog clip. Um, doodah. This is the doodah, um, and it is a magnet closure. This is in the Stefano leather, which. Prada uses, they didn't invent, but people refer to Stefano leather when it's... Yeah, you're actually right about that. Uh, Mulberry quote, cross-boarded leather. Basically, it is the practice of using a leather and then coating it in like a plasticky type residue substance. And stamping that. And then it. stamping the pattern into it. So it makes a very uniform pattern. And they say it's harder wearing than other leathers because it has got like a... A rougher appearance for a lot of people, sense? especially with the like the more kind of structured bag. It almost feels, especially with the Prada and this again, it feels almost like a like a coated canvas, like a shiny kind of hard. I don't know. It doesn't feel like leather. So they've got like the nuts and bolts that say all off white on them, and then you've got the strap which is off white strap. Um, for this nine, this bag would have retail for just over a thousand pounds. I do believe it is discontinued, but they've made a lot of them. So it's they've really done like, a bag in this time. In they've the, done so many colours. I was going to say, that in, in the short amount of time, they made so many units, but also so many different colourways. The inside looks gorgeous. Show the peeps. So this, in theory, you, it you can talk? In, theory, it's fine. in theory, you can take this, this off. Um, it does leave a mark on the leather because it's been on there for so long, but it has an attachment so you can never lose it, basically, yeah. which is quite handy, I guess, if you've been pretending on losing things and you can snap it back on. <laughs> Beg my pardon. And then it has the big old loopy loopy loop ring pull here. Yep, you can see that. It's got the inner zip and then it's got the inner compartments. I don't get around into so much detail. If you want a full video on it, yeah. it's got main label here with all the Ablo, Virgil Ablo stuff. You've got your tags, you've got your, your ding dong. This is this is kind of like a for this green, like though it looks like keys? slightly weird. Yeah, it is for keys, but um this is the this is the colour off white use for like a lot of the dust bags, a lot of the accessory stuff. So it, it sounds really it sounds really it looks really random with the kind of rest of the bag, but it's not. Uh, um, yeah, you showed got, the nuts and the bolts, yeah. Yeah, you're off white here, you've got made in Italy here, and it's just it's just a lovely bag. They do it in other, they do it in lots of different sizes and the prices like depend on the size. They do this one in a smooth lever as well, for example, with a shiny hardware. So they do lots and lots and lots and lots of variations. They do one with multiple handles, um, they do one with a short Very handle, nice. long handle, uh, all the business. You can take this off, you can adjust it. You can make it shorter, you can make it longer, you can put it on the bottom D rings to make Which it like it... A, a shorter, like a shorter arm candy. Anyway, the resale on these bags. <coughs> the resale on these bags are about 450 to 550 depending on condition, colourway, etc. Ours does have some condition issues where this was taken off and not put central, so it has a minor little dent there. But that's the only I think that's pretty much the only issue it has. Yeah, and the rest is, is just condition? the rest yeah, is. is just surface issue and you can surface marks and you can get, you know, use a bit of leather gel, uh clean it up, use a, a damp, damp. But apart from that, it's pretty much pristine, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely bag. Four ninety nine in an Oxfam. Very good. We bought it with the corduroy. <laughs> Sorry, we bought it with the corduroy bag at the same time. We also got some trainers, which you haven't got on you, have you? I haven't, no. No, no we bought some uh, 2001... 2001 uh, Air Max 95s uh, OG colourway from 2000s. Um, and they are like a like a vault pink, if you want, with a grey suede. 
um, they're totally, totally disintegrating the the soles. And the reason I bought them, you, you, you've you seen on the video. We should do a video on it. We should I, do I will, a video on it. But the reason I bought them is they're pretty much useless to, to put on your feet. They will crumble and crush as soon as you wear them. The reason I bought them, the uppers were pretty much non like not used. Even the the, 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 the soles weren't. But the soles were, as I said, they disintegrate. So people sole swap these trainers and these shoes, especially the original, original from that kind of date. Now, obviously, MX95 came out in 95. We know that. But for the, the, the next kind of four, five, six years then, they made original colorways, which some of which were released again, obviously, and some which weren't. These weren't. Um, and that makes them rare. That makes them worthwhile. And it makes them worth soul swapping. Um, so, as I say, that basically Soul swapping means is where they replace the soul. They take a soul and put a newer version of it in an MX95 soul. You get, you've got the right color. You customize it. And you put it on that shoe. So, you've got that oh, the original shoe, but with a new uh, workable soul whether you're going to collect it, keep it or wear it. So I bought those. They cost, I think, I want to say... 5 99 Um And um, I would expect to get, by the time we're done, I've got someone I actually sell kind of soul swaps too. Um, I haven't spoken to him yet, but I, I usually I usually go from between 100 and 150. So for a pair of shoes, which technically, if oh, someone did that earth-shattering test that people do and just ruined them, um, they would be worth nothing. I think it's a side profit just from knowledge and just from knowing what they're worth and what they are and that's, that's us it. we've been in luxury pickers i'm extremely hot um like like how hot like like de 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 one, desert with no water hot? i feel like i need water otherwise i'm gonna like faint right okay we're good well let's not fit on camera well we can it's if you come into this this comes out. This comes out on summit day. This comes out so, on the Saturday. so we'll be at the summit right th right now we'll probably release it earlier in the day so that you know if you're not at the summit, you can just watch us. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously that's all you want to do is you watch, know, watch us. us. That's natural. Or you could just go about your life and like, you know. Ignore the, the fact that we exist. Mm -hmm. I think that's sad though. I think that's sad for us. And maybe for you too. We love you with all our hearts. Multiple hearts. Mine and Bethany's. Bye. Bye.